Let's start on Tuesday, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Southampton is hosting Newcastle. Southampton, a four at sitting at plus 400. Newcastle, minus 134 road favorite with the draw sitting at plus 260. Um, this price seems a little high on Newcastle here. Uh, I expect going on the road. Um, so I'll probably be passing on this one, but do you have anything for South, uh, this first of two semifinal matchups? Yeah, I, I lean towards Southampton too. I think the number on Newcastle has just gotten kind of inflated across the board on them. Uh, but I like the under more, under two and a half, minus 125, 130 is out there. Uh, I just think that this is similar to where we've been with Newcastle for the last couple, or where I've been at least with Newcastle for the last couple of matches, where they're just not as good at breaking opponents down early in games and and kind of in even game states. So it is interesting if you pull up their data on like even game states this year, they're they're seventh in XG per 90 uh, when the game is tied. And so they're not taking a ton of chances, and but they finished really well. I mean, if you look at some of their games, they have gotten into extremely favorable game states really early, and that's helped them kind of sit in their transitional kind of way and dominate games from the head. Uh, we saw that against Leicester City in the in the cup quarterfinal. We even saw that. You know, going back to their win against Leicester, you know, they're up 2 0 inside 10 minutes when they beat Chelsea. Uh, that was more of like a, you know, going back to the before the World Cup, they they didn't really create much in that entire game. And that was when Chelsea was really struggling. So at home against Chelsea, you know, less than one expected goal. So if you kind of look around, you can poke holes in this Newcastle team and say that maybe we've hit the top of the market because it's true that they've improved and that Eddie Howe has done a really good job. But you start to like look around at some of the talent, like Al Marone playing way above his talent level, finishing way above his XG. You start to think, okay, how sustainable is this level of performance? And so I do think we're going to see some regression from Newcastle. We're at the top of the market on them. I'm going to be you know, fading them uh, next week in the league. I'm pretty sure they're at home, home against West Ham. But I think this is a good spot to take an under because I just think that they're not going to take a ton of possession or chances out of possession to – you know, risk losing this game when, you know, you're the away team in a two-legged thing. You know, a draw is a good result. Keeping Southampton off the board is good. Uh, you don't want to, you know, take a ton of chances. So I think this sets up in a similar kind of cup tie, like when we talk Champions League and Europa League. Also, I think Southampton defensively has shown some promising signs under under Jones. I mean, they got a clean sheet against City in the, in the cup, and it wasn't like City breasted everybody. They played a decent team in that game. Uh, they... Uh, held Villa to, you know, about one expected goal this weekend. So like pretty encouraging performance. They ended up losing the game, but I thought that they were relatively even in that game and they're good at keeping teams out of their penalty area. So Newcastle, if you had to say like one of their bigger weaknesses is probably consistency of breaking down teams that want to sit deeper and, and that don't want to, uh, you know, let them dominate and field tilt you. Uh, they're, you know, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, roughly in some of their numbers going forward in like uh, ball progression. So there, there is a world where Southampton does enough here to slow them down. And this is like a one, one, one kind of game going back to St. James's park next week. Yeah, I agree with you. If I had to play anything, I'd probably play Southampton here, but the problem I'm having here with saints is, you know, the problem with Nathan Jones and the way he, the style that he plays is that it can work, but you have to take advantage of your chances because you're going to get very few throughout the match because they concede so much possession. Even though they are going to press teams high, they still do leave space in behind. The problem is, I'm, I agree with you, the problem here for Newcastle is they're best when they're able to sit back, press, and then counter teams. And this is not going to be that type of situation where they're going to have to break down a low block, similar to how it was against Crystal Palace where they just didn't have a good finishing uh, day on, on Saturday. So I agree with you. If I had to play anything, I'd probably play uh, Southampton here or potentially the under. Um, but for me, I just can't get behind the South the Southampton team. I mean, they are they are literally the worst set piece team in the Premier League, even though they have James Ward Prowse. Like they're finishing way above where they should be, um, and that's a big red flag when you're going up against Newcastle. So um, I'll be passing on this one. Later.